Okay, so we've talked about earthquakes, we've talked about how they occur. What happens when they occur? How does that stress build up and how can we show this? How can you imagine what's happening on a fault? A fault is a weakness in the Earth's crust. It usually happens along those boundaries, like on our eggs, where those little cracked bits, that's often where faults are. And so what I thought I'd do is show you how a fault builds up strain and how that strain is released. Here we go. What I've got here is basically a, a U-clamp, the sort of thing you might find in your design technology classroom. And this here and here represents the earth and the processes on them. Now there's pressure from this side and there's pressure from this side. This here in the middle represents our rock, a bit like the rocks that I just showed you before, but those rocks are having pressure built up and up and up on them. What do you think is going to happen if I twist this end? Let's see what happens when I start to twist it, okay? Okay, I don't know if you can see. There, there's a bend. It's just starting to bend. Okay, if you look at that carefully, it's starting to bend. This is exactly what happens in the Earth's crust. It starts to bend and get forced out of the way and pressure builds up. We call this stress and strain energy. Now, the energy that's gone from here is now stored in this pencil here. It's stored and it's waiting to go. Now, let's see what happens if it goes. Now, I'm going to step back a bit now because this could actually be quite explosive. You can see it going a bit more. And we know it's going to go soon. Look how bent it is. There you go. It's gone. The fault has gone. The fault has ruptured. How can we tell that there's been an earthquake, though? What I want you to do now is this, okay? I want you as a class to just put your hands up in the air and put your fingers together like this, as if you're going to clip them. Don't click them yet, just hold them in the air as if you're going to click them. Good, now you've got your fingers in the air and you're about to click them. What I want you to do is carry on putting pressure on them, but don't click them yet. What can you feel? Okay, well, let me tell you what I'm feeling at the moment. I can feel the pressure building up on my fingers. I can feel heat building up on my fingers. Now what am I going to do? I'm going to click them. I want you to do the same thing. At the same time, see if we can. One, two, three. Okay, and let's just try that again now without building up the strain. Okay, get ready with your fingers. One, two, three. Good. Now close your eyes. I'm going to do that again, and I want you to put your hands up when you hear my fingers click. Ready? One. Okay, I'm sure many of you have got your hands up. How did you know my fingers had clicked? You heard it. Well, that's exactly how earthquake waves move and how they work. What happens when something snaps, when it suddenly goes, wave energy moves out in all directions in the same way that sound waves moved out from my fingers when I clicked them and you heard them. It was picked up by your ear. That's exactly how it works in an earthquake.